My name's Kevin Steed. Subscribe to Hill Steven on YouTube.com or I'll come to your house and ruin your life. All right, it is now time for the Q&A video for the month of January. I got some good questions sent in on Facebook and YouTube. So let's get started with this. The first question from Peter Gilmore on Facebook, and he asked, Thoughts on Chris Hero coming back to ROH, and where do you see ROH doing with them? Happy to see him back. I remember at Final Battle, he came in, he attacked Matt Hardy and Adam Cole, and he told everybody that he's back. I marked out, and I know everyone else did. Hopefully now that he's back, he can be the one to fill in that star power that's missing since Davey and Eddie are now gone. Now that he's there, they can give him a title run. I remember when he was there before, they never really gave him a world title you know, opportunity to be the champion. Hopefully they can do it now. And hopefully he's able to put young talent over as well, make them look good too. Next question here from Reggie Teller on Facebook and he asks, Thoughts on martial arts as a whole? It's been around for a long time. Everyone else has their own martial art that they that, that they master. So as long as you're doing something, I think it's always good. Also, do you think MMA is better than boxing? Honestly, um, boxing is a form of a martial art, if you ask me. I think if you ask someone that's been around for a very long time, like someone who's in their 50s or hell, even 60s, if you ask them that question, they'll probably tell you, no, boxing is better. Or if you're to tell someone that's like in their early 20s or teens, they'll probably tell you, no, MMA is better. Or most of the time, they'll probably say, no, I watch UFC, I don't do MMA. But I think at the end of the day, I think boxing is more difficult to train for than MMA because in MMA, you have different styles that you fight in. You have jiu-jitsu, you have Muay Thai, you have wrestling, you have boxing, kickboxing. And you can win a fight any style. Let's say I'm fighting someone who is a monster on the ground. It's a black belt Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And I am a master on the feet. My objective is to keep this fight standing. Not to have this fight go to the ground. Because the minute the fight goes to the ground, it's a wrap for me. And the guy is going to try to break my arm or my leg. In boxing, you can only win a fight drastically with one way. That is knocking somebody out. The next question is from Brahim, a.k.a. Babolter. And he asks, what would your match card be for WrestleMania 30? Let's see here. I would have every title on the line. 30 years of Mania, why not, right? Bring back Money in the Bank ladder match. Have a gimmick battle royal and the main event, and that'll be all. Next question here from Gavinots on Facebook, and he asks, What's your fave cheese? I'm, I'm guessing you're asking me, what is my favorite cheese? Pepper Jack cheese, or Monterey Jack. Now, the next couple of questions here are from YouTube. The first question here from Danny the Metalhead. If you're into ranting, go check him out. His first question, what camera do you use? I use a Galaxy S4. I remember back in the day, I used to use a iPhone 3GS. That's when I started on YouTube. And then from there, I went on to this, the HTC Vivid, which obviously I don't use anymore, but the camera quality was good here. And now I have the Galaxy S4, which, I'm, which you're seeing me from right now, which the camera quality is amazing, if you ask me. Your second question, what video editing software do you use? Windows Movie Maker. Yes. If you notice now, if you watch my previous videos, you can just talk and just record a video and just upload it to YouTube. The only time I'll ever edit a video out is if I ever do a Q&A video, an unboxing video, a day in life vlog, or even if I do a rant. That'll be the only time I'll ever edit a video out from here on out. Whenever I do like a wrestling review or something like that, I just do the video and just upload it to YouTube. So yeah. Your third question. What are your thoughts on communism? I'm going to be honest. I was never really big on social studies or history back in school. But my thoughts on communism, it's fucked up. You don't believe me? Look at North Korea. I digress. Your fourth question. If you could book a match between a TNA guy and a WWE guy, who would they be and who would get over? From WWE, I said this numerous times, I'll say it again, Justin Gabriel. From TNA, Frankie Kazarian. I've said this numerous times. If I can pick a match between two guys from either company, have them two go at it. I feel like these two guys are going to be able to have a good match. I, I feel like these two guys can have good chemistry also. And as far as who would go over, I would say Justin Gabriel. But then again, Frank can win too. 
If it was up to me, I have a draw, but whatever. Next four questions are from Killer O Demon 669. His first question: Will you get the new Final Fantasy games? No, I'm not really big on Final Fantasy. The only video games I ever get are like the FIFA's, the Fight Night games, the UFC games, or the WWE games. Number two, do you see ROA signing AJ Styles or anyone from TNA to a long-term deal? It could be. You never know. I would love to see TNA ROH have like a co-promotion, have some of the TNA guys go to ROH, some of the ROH guys go to TNA, and vice versa. But you never know. Your third question, do you think horror genre has gotten too repetitive with the demonic possession type movies like Paranormal Activity or Devil's Do, etc.? Yes, I feel like a lot of these horror movies nowadays, there's never an ending. There's always a different one. There's never an ending. Your fourth one, who do you think should go into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2014? I said this before and I'll say it again. You know, I'm happy now that the Ultimate Warrior guy in the Hall of Fame. But I said this one and I'll say it again. Hopefully, this year we see the British Bulldog. We see Owen Hart. We see Ravishing Rick. We see the model Rick Martel. And so many other names get inducted this year in the Hall of Fame. Next question here is from Andre Corville, and he writes, What's up, broski from the South? I'm good. How about you? My quick brief question is, who were your top three ROH stars in 2013? Peace out, my brother, and I digress. Hashtag, I digress. Number one, ACH. I feel like this guy is a good high flyer and has some great matches in ROH, whether it be him opening the show or him being the co-main event. He always had great matches. Yes, even though he was a tag team with Tadarius Thomas, and I feel like Tadarius Thomas has sometimes held him back, but I do feel like him on his own did very good. I think he's definitely better than Kofi Kingston, if you ask me. Number two, Matt Saban, the longest reigning television champion. He lost the title at Final Battle to Bonzo Champa, but yeah, I do see good things coming from him in 2014. And the last but not least, number three, unbreakable Michael Elgin. Yes. This guy had matches of the night every time he competed. Perfect example, Supercard of Honor 7, him and Jay Lethal, stole the show completely. All right? And it seems to me that they'll never give him the title. Hopefully, they do in 2014. But only time will tell. Now, the next couple of questions here from Danny Galvez TV. His first question is, will you please tweet me next time you have a live podcast while it's live? Yes, I will. As a matter of fact, this Saturday... The Saturday Night Live Google Hangouts returned with episode number four. Myself, not legit wrestling, and hopefully Eric makes his return. So yes, just let you know about that, and I'll tweet you, of course, just for shits and giggles. Your second question. Abla Espanol. Se Myra Leitano. LOL, sorry, that's wrong. I'm guessing you're asking me if I speak Spanish. Well... Hola, ¿cómo te va? Muy bien, espero. Uh, me llamo Steven, si aquí, pero mis padres son de Perú. Tengo 23 años y hago videos en YouTube. So yeah, I bet you're asking yourself, what the fuck did I just say? Well, I said, yes, my name is Steven. I'm 23 years old. I was born here, but I lived in Peru for a while. My parents are from Peru, and I make YouTube videos. So yeah, I do speak Spanish. And third question, why only mature questions? What's the fun in that? I feel like... There are stupid people that come on here and write stupid shit. And I don't want to be involved in that crap. I just want people that are mature, that are knowledgeable, that know what the fuck they're talking about. So, yeah. Your fourth question. What do you think of Final Battle and did you recognize me? LMAO. I thought the show was great being live, watching it on, you know, the VOD. It could have been a little better, but nonetheless, I enjoyed live shows. So, why not, right? And that I recognize you, yes, I believe you were sitting with your father. Something like that. I'm like on the front row of the balconies. So yeah. And your fifth question. Favorite food you could eat for the rest of your life? Believe it or not, sushi. Next couple of questions here from Gavinots. First question. What made you want to form a group, a.k.a. Team Heal on YouTube? The fact that myself and Knowledge of Wrestling started this group together. And people had this huge misconception. They believe that I'm the one that runs Team Heal. Not really. Myself and knowledge at wrestling. We both run the group for a long time now. We formed this back in 2012, I believe in the spring, 
when we both had like almost the same amount of sub. We had like 20 subs each almost on my old channel, of course. And it was one of those things that we started a group, help each other out, and probably give opportunity to other YouTubers coming in as well. Even though it made it sound silly with us not having that many subs, but look where we're at right now. You know, obviously, I've got more subs than him, but his focus is more on school. And I understand that because obviously school comes first. So yeah, he's very highly underrated. Go check him out whenever you guys get a chance. Just saying. Go check him out. YouTube.com slash Knowledge of Wrestling. Your second question, what direction you're doing to make your channel different this year than last year? Pretty much the same, you know. I still plan on doing unboxing videos, Q&As, in life vlogs, cooking videos, and all that fun stuff. I plan on keeping things the same. Why change, you know? Now, if I do get this laptop that I plan on getting real soon, my content creativity will just go through the roof. With that, I see that. And the next final five questions from David Rivera, aka Fort Minor Project. The first question is, what do you think that needs to be fixed in the Divas Division? There needs to be more women. Today's Divas Division, you only have two girls that are worth giving the shit to watch about from an in-ring perspective. That is Natalia and AJ Lee. Hopefully they start bringing the girl from NXT, like Paige, Emma, and Sasha Banks. And hopefully they let Summer Rae be herself. Just saying. Number two, what is a problem you think needs to be fixed in wrestling that is bothering you right now? Hopefully the fans. I feel like a lot of wrestling fans are very, very one-dimensional. They will crap on companies like TNA and ROH and act that the WWE is God's gift and there's nothing wrong with that company. Number three, thoughts on the WWE Network and will you get it? I said it before, I'll say it again. I think it's awesome. We get to see every video from WCW, from ECW, old school WWE, every WrestleMania, and every pay-per-view will be free. Starting with WrestleMania 30 for only $10 a month with a six-month commitment. And yes, I'll be getting it, of course. And your fourth question, who do you think will win the Royal Rumble and why? I would say Daniel Bryan. I feel like... Having him win and go on a mania and win the title will be the big payoff that he deserves, I believe. And your final question, who would you like to see return to any company in wrestling? I would love to see Nigel McGinnis come back and wrestle. I feel like he can still go. I know he's retired. I know he said he'll never wrestle again. But I'm sure eventually he'll decide to lace up the boots one more time. Whether it be in ROH or in TNA as Desmond Wolf. But only time will tell. Well, this wraps up the Q&A for the month of January. I hope you all enjoyed it. Links to everyone's channel will be down below in the description. Subscribe to all those people down there. Good people at that. And yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Like this video. Share this video on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Okay? And I'll catch you later in the next video. Peace. See my rest, honey, old.